and we used to live in 200 square feet, one single room in Vijayawada. 200 square feet. She was an employee of Andhra Pradesh State Road Transport Corporation. She is MA postgraduate and a law graduate. And uh, I was supposed to come to Chennai for joint Cisco, South India Shipping Corporation and Merchant Navy. Couple of joint for now. Couple of America So I asked, Ma, I'm your first son, Ma. Chennai couple. Ma, I will not come, Ma. Our master, Guru Varsha. Hey, Koda Vijayavada, da. Koi da da bella panna da. Enna inga Vijayavada ketko. So this is a mother who pushed me outside the house. Because many of your parents will be holding you. Tell your parents, please don't hold me. Just I want to get out and see the world. This is the lady who gave Pushpa Kumar to Chennai. This is the lady. The second lesson this lady taught me when I joined in ship, I mean, though now I'm a global citizen, I, my mother told me that I'm a Telugu Brahmin and all those things. So I joined ship. My chief officer captain gave me, you know, for, you know, they all will make a discipline. They gave me a broom and said, hey, Pushpa Kumar, start cleaning toilets. I was very upset. Then I again went back to my mother. Ma, all toilet clean che manna ma. You know what my mother said? Hey, what man, cleaning toilet. Close your eyes and clean man, finish it off. <laughs> that is the kind of advices your parents must give, which my parent has given. Third, I called her from the ship, from the radio. Ma, so much of non-veg, ma, chicken, mutton, biryani, everything. Paruk illa ma, paruk saadha ma illa ma. Hello, Allah saab de. Kadal yadukam bodhi India illa, Brahma illa, Unnum illa. Be an international citizen. You have to be alive, better eat. Don't talk about all this nonsense. This is the same Indian mother. My father, he today he didn't come from Vijayawada. He says, no, 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 I'm tired actually. He will never leave Vijayawada. He doesn't want to leave Vijayawada. And this is the lady who keeps pushing us and she's... Today, if India is great, sir, you are talking about 5 trillion dollar economy, entire shipping and logistics business. My 10 years experience, if today India is there, that is because of all you ladies and great bombs like this. And I can see a lot of mothers here. Thank you so much for all of you. And we completed 10 years. And I'm very sure all you guys will have a great, great life in future. And mom, you want to say a few words? I can come, I will translate them in English. Mithila Japandi, Nenaliki, English Lavu, Tamil Japandi. First of all, Bhakti's worship duty is gone. You all know that. Yes, sir. Yaru Koda Kupastam Mandukam Mandri Rak Koda. Go, search, Vitikana Vatki Vajra Durutai. Kushito Nasti Durbiksham. Don't be a frog in the well, just go out, search for diamonds, you will get. She says, unless you search, you don't get pearls and diamonds. Kastan Ishtapadu, Ishtanga Kastapadu, Vijayuni Lantapadu. Kastan Ishtapadu, you know, custom you have to Ishtanga Kastapadu. Lovingly, you have to work hard. Vijayuni Lantapadu. Victor will follow you. That is always thinking about that. Don't waste your life. Your mind. Life is very, 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 very like a... Like it? Life is like it? Tell me mom, I don't know. Tell me, son. <laughs> Life is a challenge. Yeah, always challenge, always comes up. I did MA in the age of 50 years. MA is Yeah, she's trying to say that once you take a determined decision in your life, you want to do something, make up a goal, hold the goal, don't leave it, don't let go, don't keep changing your goals. But whatever you want to achieve, go behind it. Run, run, run. Until you reach your goal and respect to your parents, to your brother, sister, your country. Jai Sri. Jai Friends, today is a world we are living in where if tomorrow you can't pay 10 rupees to your mail, anybody if you pay less salary, 50 rupees, 100 rupees, they will be upset with you and run away and go away. 
this my lower middle class middle class mother enak accounts finance chinna pude amma kitta na kattadam eppadi odanam tight strain she is from the house with limited budget and we are going to be 5 trillion dollar economy india is going to be 5 trillion dollar economy today india is 2 trillion dollar economy next 5 years we're going to become 5 it's a great opportunity for you ipa ninga ninga market ku poi logistics shipping todil pa solvara or solvaro ipa logistics shipping industry pa slow la irukku recession la irukku why did you get into logistics that is wrong adalla thappu ipa vande logistics industry la custom irukku correct industry is going through tough times ana neenga enter pandreenga ipa you are fresh right you will grow with the industry in 5 years from today 7 years from today all of you will be on top trust me i congratulate each and every parent who is sitting here and i thank all the parents who have come along with the students we are going to change the face of logistics industry in india sir hum to logistics industry ka face badalne wale hain iel ka students right abhi dubai jata hu to dubai mein iel students hai bombay jata hu sir paris corner mein pura iel students hai paris ke corner kona ela mein iel students sir one fine day entire industry will be run by iel students that's my dream actually <laughs> entire indian logistics industry is run by iel students only and we will the best we should work for that okay so thank you so much to the office have a good day and we are going to now honor the guests thank you so my dear young graduates those who are going to get the degrees today and the the invitees uh, professor kulkarni from uh, uttaranchal Uh, Dr. Pushpa Kumar and other invitees, uh, my dear young graduates, I am very happy to associate with the eighth graduation day of uh, Indian Institute of uh, Logistics, which is one of the participating institutions of our Bharatiya University. I am happy to inform you that Bharatiya University has recently been uh, awarded. 14th rank at the national level and the first rank at the state universities and also this is the only university which got a grade at the third cycle of tamil uh, nadu universities the first university actually as a vice chancellor of a uh, conventional university i am fully aware that we have to produce the employable graduates today even thousands of students every year they are getting uh, degrees from the conventional university system but we are not able to accommodate them in uh, good jobs so therefore we are uh, the number of uh, graduates those who are not able to fit into the system are employed they are not able to get the employment is increasing day by day I appreciate the efforts taken by Mr. Kumar and his team for establishing Indian, Indian Institute of Logistics, uh, which is giving the training to young graduates. And uh, I am very happy to see the reports of uh, annual report of the institute that almost all their graduates are getting uh, employed somewhere. So I am as a participatory institution of uh, Bharatiya University. I appreciate the efforts taken by Pushpa Kumar and the team for doing the service to the country because it is the time that we have to reorient our uh, research and the teaching in such a way that we have to our all the our graduates should be able to get employment somewhere. So in that direction, the scientists of logistics is doing the good service to the society in, in such a way that they are producing the young graduates. Uh, they are going to employ somewhere. And another important point I wish to stress here that particularly the shipping, particularly the Tamil Nadu, even uh, we, we 
we can go to several uh, thousand years. So we were able to, our, uh, even Raja Raja Sola, he used to travel to even Singapore or uh, those days, this kind of uh, uh, navigation or the sophisticated equipments are not, uh, they were not available. But our uh, pioneers, uh, they were able to go to East and the West and do the business. And uh, here, India, Indian stuff, I think it was it started in the 2007 with four students. Now we were student, uh, student this nearly 750. And uh, I congratulate the Indian stuff uh, logistics status of our institutes at the international level. With this note, I congratulate him the Indian stuff uh, logistics for imparting the training to the graduates uh, in such a way that to get into the very good employment. I wish that the graduates, those who are getting degree today, have a very bright future. Thank you very much. Captain uh, Pushpakumar Ji, um, you know, he's spoken so much about me. It, uh, it's really difficult to recognize the person that he was talking about. That definitely is not me. Uh, I've known him for the last 10 years, yes. I know him as uh, as 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 a visionary, as as somebody who can see and predict future. Uh, you have uh, you know you you have an excellent leader, an excellent uh, uh, excellent torch bearer to this industry. Uh, respected uh, Captain Vivekanand ji and all the other dignitaries uh, on the dais, and of course my. Dear students, my fellow students, and I say that because uh, throughout my life and throughout my career, I have been a student and I'll continue to be a student. I've learned so much from you, I've learned so much from these people and their uh, orations today. Thank you, sir, for this opportunity. Uh, ten years back, when we were talking of uh, logistics and stuff like that, there was one thing which uh, was a clincher as far as uh, we were concerned, as far as my university was concerned. I was the Vice Chancellor of Mangalayatan University and Captain Kumar, his, uh, his zeal and that belief in his eyes, uh, that is something and, and um, I can see a bit of, uh, you know, a uh, bit of beard and a bit of uh, moustache on him now, rest, everything stays the same, he still has that gleam and, and, and you know, I'm jealous of him, he doesn't seem to grow old. So 10 years, 10 years down the line, he's still, still young. And um, along with him, your own, your own dear Suku. That's what you call him, isn't it? Suku, sir. Suku, darling. Okay, I don't want to say that. <laughs> Captain Kumar and Sukumar. Sukumar, sir. Both of them, it was... Yes, there were two people, but then it was a one-man army. That one-man army was uh, represented sometimes by Suku and sometimes by Captain Kumar. Everywhere and anywhere. And let me tell you, you know, the fact that all of you are sitting over here and, you know, uh, you, you, you guys are, uh, you know, and girls too, listening to all of us, it was, it was his belief, it was, it was the belief of this team that one day this is going to be something big, something huge. And uh, let me tell you, uh, Captain Sir, uh, many of these things are now being recognized by the government of India. I am a member of uh, the Skill Development uh, uh, Committee, the policy uh, making body in the Government of India and trust me, logistics and shipping now is, uh, is one of the most crucial subjects to such an extent sir that, uh, and, and that is something that the industry leaders would be telling you soon. The government is planning a, a kind of a circular, a plan, kind of an ordinance which would ensure that every single logistics or shipping company in this country and also in the countries that are supported by India, which means the entire West Africa, the, uh, you know, there's a, there's a huge part of the breakaway Russian, uh, Russian republics, a uh, part of Eastern Europe, uh, a number of countries in South America, Central America, I'm not very sure. All these, these who are taking and seeking guidance from India will have to take only certified logistics and shipping professionals for their concerns and their companies. And let me assure you, a day, a day will come, a day will come, a day will come very soon when your own founder, Captain Pushpa, 
is actually going to have an audience with our Honorable Prime Minister Narendra Modi ji. And he's the one because I, I take him as the pioneer of logistics and shipping education in this country. I agree, you know, this is something that is there for your future. This is something I would request all the students to stand up once and give him a standing ovation. He deserves that. Let's hear a loud, loud, loud ovation for him. That's, that's, that's their love for you, Pushpa. And, and trust me, trust me students, having, uh, having served three universities as a Vice Chancellor and having been in a number of institutions so far, technical institutions, I sincerely have not come across an institution which has more than 600 MOUs with, with, with meaningful companies. And this is, this is something fantastic. My only, my only suggestion to you for today, my only suggestion to you for today, you know, number of laureates have come and spoken. You know, this is one of the disadvantages of speaking at the end of the day. When, when such laureates have come and spoken, I really don't have anything to say. So you would, you would, you would notice me, you know, groping for words. I'm still fumbling. There's just one advice that I wish to give to all of you. Never in the future there will be any world wars. In the world now there will only be world wars. Develop your vocabs, develop your world power, develop your persona. Please do not, do not underestimate what a personality, what a language, what a communication skill can give you. Whatever, whatever field you are into, whatever field you are going to grace, whatever industry you are going to grace, trust me at the end of the day how nicely you are and you would be in a position to speak out your mind, to put forth your thoughts is what will count at the end of the day. Develop your world power because soon, and this is something which our Honorable Prime Minister has actually demonstrated in his uh, three years of tenure. He has won wars with his words. And what is most important in world wars, in winning world wars is the timing of what you say and the timing of how you say. Many of us, and, and I'm sure uh, all of us will agree on this, many of us at the end of a discussion, when they are out of a discussion, they would, they would think, why didn't I say this at that time? This timing is what is crucial. This timing is what is required. Bhagavad Gita. Bhagavad Gita, when it was recited, had so much value because it was recited at the right time, just before the war had begun. This Bhagavad Gita could have come a long time back. Why did the Pandavas have to go to exile? Sri Krishna could have given them a sermon of Bhagavad Gita and they would have attacked Kauravas right before the exile. There was no need of, of, of that. But then timing is important. That epic, that document, that way of life. A friend of mine over here spoke about Swami Vivekanandji. The basic light, the basic guidance is so very relevant today because it was delivered at the right time with the right amount of zeal. I hope all of you do very well in your life. Thank you very much.